not about labels or anything particularly. It's about how you use clothes and how you use them on yourself. It's the best way of sticking out, is if you're doing it from yourself. Can you still be an individual today? I okay. never seem to have a problem with it. <laughs> I can still get either whistled at or brick thrown at me. It always seems the cause of reaction, which I think is quite good for an old lady, really. Judy Blaine, what a force of nature. always involved a heavy visual sense, especially on yourself or on other people. That's why I do do a bit of styling, a bit of jewellery, you know, if I haven't got it in my wardrobe, I'll make it. it you know, it's very much, oh, let's use a, you know, safety pins, the classic, but I started using materials that were not thought of as accessories or clothing. I just used my creativity to plunder things from different areas and reinterpret it into a photo or a outfit for a club or a piece of jewellery for a shop. Or... He wanted to change his name. Right. And he had Judy. Judy was mm. um, Anthony Price calling him Judy after Judy Garland. Amazing, is that how wrong? Right. That's crazy, okay. And, yeah, and blame came because, I can't remember this rightly, because I kind of forgot it for a few years and then he'd remind me and then he'd forget and I'd remind him. And uh, So when Judy worked in the coach check at Heaven, which is where when I met him, how I met him, yeah. or maybe I met him elsewhere, but he worked in the coach check at Heaven. But anyway, we mm. were very young. Mm -hmm. um, is he ever the stylist? He would sometimes, because we used to drink yeah. as well, which I don't think he was supposed to when he was working, but anyway, so we used to drink mm -hmm. La La, and people would come to pick up their coats, and he would sometimes go, try that one on instead, it's going to look better on you. Right. So there was sometimes a little bit of havoc with the people getting the coats back. No Chaos, way. Yeah. And they would say, <laughs> so we'd go blame Judy. Blame Judy. And that's how it came about. I'd made that black bead necklace, which I gave to Scala, which was basically this huge, just millions of black beads that completely covered the whole of Scarlet's front. That was the first piece of jewellery I made. And from that, it was like, God, well, if I made a different piece every week and we wore the chemise, mm. it would look like a different outfit. Mm. So then the next week I made something out of string. Mm, 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 mm. And then a the couple of weeks later, bones. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? So that's when I started um, making accessories. 